guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Today I've got a tutorial for you. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. And today I'm going to show you how to make these pencil pouches. I picked out some modern fabric and I put some uh, zipper tabs on here. So showing you guys a new technique. And, you know, just a really fun project for back to school. Um, artist paintbrushes, colored pencils, things like that. A great addition to organize your purse or anything you might need. So this is a beginner friendly project. Let's get going. I'm going to show you all the steps. Okay, so what you want to have is your zipper. This is a nine inch zipper, 10 and a half inch tape. Um, and then you want to have your outside pieces. These are 10 and a half by five your lining pieces, and then this is just some pretty stiff sew-in and interfacing. Any type of interfacing really will be fine. This is what I'm going to be using. And then you want a little two inch square for our zipper tab. So here's the zipper, and the first thing we want to do is trim down our tape a little bit. And also keep in mind if you are using a longer zipper, that's no big deal. Just cut it to whatever length you need. And we're going to cut this side down too. So you want to take this, fold it in half, and give it a nice good press. And then you're going to press these in a little bit. So what you're going to do is line this up right on the outside of this little metal piece kind of slide it in here. Okay, your tape might not go all the way to the end, but that's okay. Um, and you just want to make sure that your top and bottom is lined up so that your bobbin thread will catch this bottom piece. Once you have it all lined up, you want to pin it all in place. So now that this side is ready to go. Now you want to do this side, and this side is a little bit trickier because this is the side that separates. All right, so this is the side that separates. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew it just with a little few tack stitches just to keep this from coming apart. Okay, so just tack this together like you see here. Just do your best. Don't need a back stitch or anything. It's just something to keep your you know pieces together as best as you can. So then you're gonna do the same thing on this side with your zipper tab. Now let's head over to the machine and stitch these up. So what you wanna do is have your zipper foot on or some sort of edging foot, something so that you can get really, really close to this edge. Make sure that your bottom, you're catching your bottom piece. I also extend my stitch length out a little bit to about a three. Go down very carefully. So now we'll do the second one. So now what we want to do is trim the sides. So you just want to trim it so that it's right in line with that zipper. Do that on all four sides. Now let's go put it in our bag. Here's our my outside piece of my bag and my zipper. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit short on the sides. That's what you want. Okay, so don't freak out if this doesn't go all the way up to the edge. That's what you want. You interfacing outside piece your zipper teeth down and then you want your lining right side down when you're lining this all up you want your zipper to come in just about an eighth of an inch out here on the side make sure everything is all lined up and then we're going to take it to the machine. Then using your foot and sewing in about an eighth of an inch from that side, from this side here, about an eighth of an inch and you're going to sew down. Okay, 
Okay, when I get down here to the edge, this is where my zipper pull is. So I'm gonna back stitch and then I'm gonna move this zipper pull down. And then we'll continue down. So the zipper is in and now we will do the other side. Okay, so here is our one side that's done. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side just like we did before. You want your interfacing, your outside piece, your zipper is gonna be face down, lining right side down. Line all this up, pin it, and then we're gonna sew down the other side. Um, my zipper pull is up here at the end. So I am just going to start down here a little ways, start and back stitch. And this is just my regular foot and I line up the edge to the middle of this side of the foot, but use your zipper foot or whatever foot um, you prefer for your zipper. Okay, so now I'm going to move my zipper pull down and finish up on this side. Okay, so here we go. We have everything in. Now let's go over to the iron and press it all out. Give everything, you see how, you know, everything's kind of wrinkled up here. Give it a nice good press. Make sure everything is lined up. Okay, now that it's nice and pressed, we're gonna go top stitch. Okay, make sure your zipper is closed. I have my stitch length up to three, and find a good spot, uh, you know, about, you know, a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch away from your edge, and top stitch it down with a coordinating thread. Okay, now that the top stitching is done, we are gonna get our bag ready to sew up. We're at a really good spot now. So what you wanna do is open up your zipper about halfway, and then you're gonna take your outside piece and your inner facing, and then your lining pieces and kind of take them to opposite sides. Then what you wanna do is match up the seams for your outside pieces. Match up these seams and then the zipper tab is gonna be going toward the lining. So make sure that that's how your zipper is looking and then pin that in place. Do the same on the other side. And then just line everything up going all the way around. I like to use these clover clips because they're easy to remove. The pins I like for the uh, zipper because it you know holds it a little bit better I feel like okay now that we've got it all uh, pretty lined up we're gonna start down here at the lining and I'm gonna do a half inch seam on the bottom and then a quarter inch seam on the sides so let's go all the way around here back stitch because we're gonna be leaving an opening So going up along the side, we're gonna do a one quarter inch seam allowance because I don't want there to be too much bulk from that zipper tab in the seam. So we're gonna do a quarter inch on the sides and then I did a half inch down at the bottom. Use your fingers and make sure that everything stays nice and aligned. back to one half inch and make sure to leave an opening back stitch and we want this opening here now we want to clip our corners so in all the corners not through the threads but just getting up close so that we have corners that pop out nicely
Okay, now it's time to flip the bag out. Here is our bag, our corners are clipped. We have our little opening down here and because our zipper was part of the way open like we did before, it's really easy to flip out. So sticking your fingers down into that opening, you want to pop the corners out. So there, that has a little, ta a little uh, string, but that's kind of how it should be looking. You can pop out this other side too. The great thing about doing the zipper tab this way is that if you didn't catch all of the zipper tab into the seam because it was that folded edge, you it'll still be all finished. So what you're going to do is just back stitch, sew, back stitch to finish that up and give it all a nice good press. Okay, so there's our stitch closing up our bag. And then what we want to do, place the lining back in here. And give it a nice good press. So here we go, we have our nice little pencil pouch, uh, paintbrush holder, just something nice and neat, sturdy, super cute for back to school or for whatever you might need it for. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. In the comment section below, let me know which of these is your favorite, which uh, fabric speaks to you. I think I'm partial to the horse. Although these arrows are really fun, especially with this metallic detail. Uh, don't forget to check out my blog too, iheartstitching.com, and sign up for my newsletter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!